uh, genetics of ALS and you know is it hereditary so in general about five to ten percent of people who are diagnosed have what's called familial ALS meaning that if you ask them about a family history anybody in your family have ALS their answer would be yes in the other 90 95 percent of people there's no family history of ALS and that's what we would call sporadic ALS so over the years there's a lot more information and knowledge about the genetics behind ALS and more and more of those people who have what we would call sporadic ALS uh, are noted to have some mutation that's associated with ALS even if they don't have a family history but in general we say about five to ten percent of people are going to have familial ALS clear family history the rest no family history. In most people there's really nothing in their family history or their own medical history if you will to suggest that they're gonna have ALS down the road so unfortunately uh, there's no you know great thing to look for uh, in your own medical history and even in people who have a family history of ALS um, in general in most cases, it's certainly uh, nothing that you could say there's a 50% probability, there's a 25% probability. I think that's, that's pretty difficult uh, to say to someone who has a family history uh, of ALS. Is it possible that at some point we'll have more information on that with genetic testing? I think it's possible, but for right now, uh, I'd have a pretty difficult time counseling someone who just has a one family member uh, with ALS and, and, and giving them some type of a, of a prognosis, so to speak, uh, that they might get that down the road.